What's going on YouTube? Hidden back making another brand new crypto TV episode. In today's video, we're going to be looking at Litecoin, Bitcoin, Ethereum, as well as Icon to BTC, as well as, you know, the current coin market cap. And as the title states, warning is Litecoin in trouble. And I know that sounds crazy, but there is some pretty interesting stuff happening today i did record a video earlier today but i didn't want to post it yet because i wanted to see what would happen in the rest of the market and obviously something was affected today and that's what i want to talk about but if you guys are new to the channel make sure to subscribe turn on post notifications leave a giant thumbs up i'm trying to hit 12,000 subscribers otherwise let's jump right into today's video so as you can see, before I jump into the technical analysis, the current market cap is 330 billion. We have a 24 hour volume of 99 billion and a Bitcoin dominance of 64.8%. So Bitcoin dominance has stayed fairly similar uh, compared to this morning's video that I had. Uh, I had, I didn't post, but I had it. And then a 24 hour volume was much lower. It's currently almost at 100 billion. You can see it's 99 billion currently, which means tons of volume is moving in and or out of the exchanges. You can see on the current market cap, it's 330. So we've seen a significant price drop over the exchanges. I think it's quite important. It's huge. This is an issue. We need to discuss it. Out of the top 10 cryptocurrencies, everything is down tremendously. Uh, Bitcoin down five, Ethereum down seven, uh, Litecoin down 10%. We see EOS down 11. Market is down. Everything is red money is not moving out of other cryptos and moving into others you can pretty much see the market is just down completely everything is taking a tumble taking a loss majority of it is down double digits we're getting hit pretty darn hard and i'd like to describe and explain why that could most likely be now, I do want to jump over to Litecoin because I do think this is quite important. Now, this is something that uh, is very interesting to me. It's something that I do want to talk about. I think it's very odd and something that has been on the back of my mind, but I was not yet explaining or, or expecting this. So... We discussed in the past couple of days that volume has pretty much left cryptocurrency. Volume has left. We've seen it tumble down here. You can see us right here. This is the volume slowly decreased to practically nothing. You'll notice that we were not only in a channel right here, which isn't necessarily a good sign, but we also had our supports. We had our you know ascending wedge pushing this currency up to higher levels, sustaining the current price. Now the issue that you know. I came across was the fact that we were trading sideways and what I was anticipating and writing on is something along the lines of this movement like this into this ascending triangle and then seeing a major burst to the upside or a major burst to the downside one of those two is what I was anticipating Now we did take a change um, you know to the downside you know we were expecting to see some movement to the downside this is what we're seeing and it's not necessarily coming as a surprise to me mainly because of the fact that this downtrend is necessary uh there's always that bottom you know level of support uh which is the high low minimum moving average and the fact that we've been trading above it for quite some time now is a good indication that movement to the downside is necessary it's there. It's an option. It's something we cannot, you know, throw to the wind. It's something that's here that we have to take into consideration when investing in these cryptos. Now, the fact that we not only broke a bottom support at 114, a, an uptrend, two uptrends, uh, we did decide to retrace lower and we did, although, fall to our high-low minimum moving average. So here's a good thing. Here's the, the perks to this. I know I said warning. I know that you guys are confused. Why are we seeing pullback? This isn't necessarily a bad move. And here is why. The high-low MMA is so freaking close to where the current price is right now that this small retracement isn't necessarily that significant or that big of an issue. Now, there was something that I want to discuss with you. I believe a couple of people commented in the previous videos that Litecoin Charlie Lee commented that this may be the high for where we may already be at the top for the Litecoin having. This may be the top. We may have already seen it, which could be $140. And I don't want to throw that to the wind. That's a pretty big statement. If you guys have potentially have heard of that, definitely make sure to leave it in the comments down below because that is definitely an option that we have to consider. Charlie Lee has been pretty much right 90 percent of the time and it's definitely no you know no option to throw out that he could be right this time as well so what he means by 140 so here's what i'm currently standing at um it's you know this is a very recent drop uh much volume a lot of volume did move in we could see just a small retracement or a small pullback right up that is definitely a possibility getting back inside of this you know ascending triangle and then we could move back up to here this is a huge possibility i do think 140 is the cap i think there's a good chance that 140 is where the test of the 
um, having is going to be. Having is coming up very soon. And I do think 140 is going to be the cap. I don't think we're going to go much higher than that. But we could go much higher right after. And I want to explain why. So not only did we just fall back down to our previous support, uh, which is the Hala MMA, which is great. I don't think we're going to go below it. But I do think that this testament is here and it's huge and this is a great you know opportunity here's why so because we've shot this high low mma up to significant prices you know this being at a bottom is 103 that's very high compared to where it's been uh it's been pretty darn low we've seen it all the way oops did not mean to do that um wow i think i just broke it we've seen it go as low as let's see um, I, I don't know what I just did with that marker, but we've seen it all the way down here at $40 uh, dollars on the RSI. Now, what that means is that we're not going to see much more uh, retracement to lower levels, mainly because of the fact that we are pretty much at the bottom. I really do think this is the bottom for this coin. I think that we did find a great you know, support. The Hila MMA has been chasing the price so significantly that if we do see any sort of significant pullback, it's not going to be that huge. Huge. It's not going to be that great. And this is the pullback that we've been waiting for, that we needed. So this is a great buying opportunity. I do plan on purchasing a little more Litecoin right here, buying in now. And I am anticipating to ride this up. We are pretty freaking low on the RSI. Trading at 36 gives us plenty of potential to move up to higher levels. And I do think we're going to be retesting 140 very soon too. So to make $35 on a Litecoin, per Litecoin is a huge opportunity. You buy two, you could be expecting to make about uh, $70 per coin which is quite a bit of money per sorry per two coins every two coins could cost you or could make you $70 which is quite a bit so I am anticipating a pullback back up to this you know ascending wedge we may see resistance I'm honestly expecting to see resistance fighting here as we climb this but for the most part I am expecting a nice bounce and a nice recovery so I wouldn't be too worried with Litecoin now let's check out Bitcoin as we know, the market follows Bitcoin. We cannot just look at Litecoin because Litecoin is not the deciding factor. We have to look at all the cryptocurrencies. Bitcoin is a great giveaway of that. You know, on Bitcoin, we found and we drew an ascending triangle. We have a uh, a, a supporting uptrend you can see right here and we do have a resistance where we double topped right here so to see any sort of retracement is it does make sense bitcoin moves lower litecoin and the other cryptos seem to move lower as well so the fact that we saw a beautiful obvious double top we're not going to see much retracement at all now i do know bitcoin is way above its high low mma litecoin isn't so i don't think litecoin's going much lower but we're right here guys you know you see we have our uptrend it's it's clear as day and if we do see any sort of pullback it's going to be back down to this uptrend which we're almost at right now so if we do head lower it's not going to be much it's going to be very insignificant and i think we're still going according to plan so don't worry it's not that big of an issue ethereum doing the same exact thing ethereum has a beautiful uptrend you can see we're testing it right here no worries we just bottomed out now this is a third confirmation this is huge this is huge i've been telling you guys wait for the opportunity to buy on ethereum when we retest our uptrend here is the opportunity guys i personally think this is a great opportunity we jet we are now trading at 50 on the rsi we're now testing a beautiful uptrend that has been on the market for quite some time now so i think this is a huge opportunity for ethereum investors or if you want to dabble with ethereum to be purchasing um i cannot recommend what you're going to do but in terms of my standards i do think ethereum is great for me to be purchasing into and you can see right here is the third confirmation of this line and i think we're going to head up to some pretty significant levels in the next couple of days so that's going to wrap up uh the top three blue chips now to wrap up things with icon here you go again very interesting icon as we know is acting inversely with the market we see the top three blue chip cryptocurrencies uh starting to retrace and that indicates that icon which acts inversely to the market and inversely to bitcoin would see some sort of uptrend with that and that is exactly what's happening uh litecoin bitcoin ethereum are all in the red you can see here icon is the one coin doing the opposite and it's starting to head up but i do think it does have resistance obviously of this downtrend this purple downtrend so we may see a retestment right over here and then we could fall a little bit lower. So who knows? This is where I do expect to see Icon go. I think Icon is going to head up to the upside. But that is pretty much going to wrap up today's episode, guys. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe, turn on post notifications, leave a giant thumbs up. Definitely make sure to check out my Patreon as well. The reason why I have a Patreon set up is for you guys to gain exclusive access to all of my crypto and trading view charts. This is where you can get live updates. So you don't have to wait for these YouTube videos that can come out sporadically. You'll have a set time where you can check out all these charts that are live 
live updating. They work at your benefit and your pleasure. So I highly recommend you check that out as well. But like I said, that's going to wrap up today's episode and I will see you in the next video. Peace. Peace.